Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make these super easy and really delicious strawberry cheesecake bites. So let's go ahead and get started. What you're going to need is 2 blocks of cream cheese, 4 tablespoons of melted butter, 12 graham crackers, 2 eggs, a half a cup of sour cream, a teaspoon of vanilla, some salt, and some strawberry preserves. First you want to start out by lining a 12 count muffin tin with cupcake liners. And then add a little cooking spray. I'm using canola oil but you can use whatever cooking spray that you like. Now set that aside. Go ahead and grab your graham crackers and I'm just using a rolling pin to crush them up really fine. This is going to be the crust for your cheesecakes. Okay, once they're ground to about this texture, you want to go ahead and add them to a large bowl. Then add in a pinch of salt and your melted butter. Once that's all combined to a sand-like texture, then you can start adding it to your liners. I'm only using a tablespoon, but you can use as much as you want depending on how thick or thin you want your crust to be. Now take the back of your tablespoon and just pat down everything really tight. Now pop that in the oven at 325 for about 5 to 7 minutes. While that's going, I'm going to go ahead and start on my filling. First, adding in the cream cheese. Then beat that on medium speed until it's light and fluffy. Now scrape down your paddle attachment in your bowl really well. This ensures that everything gets added in evenly and there's no lumps and clumps in your batter. Now we can add in our eggs and make sure that you add in your eggs one at a time and wait for the first egg to fully incorporate before you add the second. Now you can start adding in your other ingredients starting with sour cream. sugar, vanilla, and a pinch of salt. Give your bowl one more really good scrape down. Then blend everything together again on medium speed until everything is smooth and creamy. Now you can add your filling to your crust. I'm going to use a spring-loaded ice cream scoop, but you can use a spoon. It works fine too. Give it a good tap and shake so that everything is even and you can start adding in your strawberry preserves. I put my strawberry preserves in a squeezy bottle because it makes it a little bit easier to use. You don't have to do anything fancy or make any kind of designs. You really can just put a couple of dots on top of your cheesecake and I'll show you why in a second. Once you've added some preserves to all of your cheesecakes, you're going to take a toothpick and kind of squiggle in between all of the dots to make a marble kind of design. I know I'm using a knife, but you really want to use a toothpick. Mm -hmm. 
And once you're done, pop that in the oven at 325 for 20 minutes. And then let them cool for at least two hours before you eat them. I like mine with a little drizzle of white chocolate. It is so good. But let me know what you guys think and how yours turned out in the comments below. And I'll catch you on the next one.